Hi everyone, I'm Mike, a South Florida firefighter, here again with Drone Nerds. And today, we're gonna take a look at the DJI M30T drone and how it can be beneficial and useful in marine operations involving an inlet or any dangerous body of water. Stay tuned. So we're here in South Florida, and as you can see, I have an inlet behind me, which basically connects the intercoastal waterway to the open ocean. They have this all over the world, especially the continental United States. This one happens to be one of the most dangerous in the state of Florida. Today, we're gonna take a look at how the M30T drone can be beneficial if something bad happens at this inlet. Over the years, there have been a lot of emergencies at this inlet. Anything from boating accidents to wave runners crashing into the jetty to fishermen falling off the jetty to missing swimmers, all the above. We're gonna take a look at how this M30T drone can aid in those emergencies, especially ocean rescue, coast guard, fire department, and the Marine Patrol. This inlet is known to be dangerous for several reasons. A couple of those reasons are is how narrow the inlet is. We have a lot of boat traffic coming in and out. Then it has a very strong current. Couple the current on the outgoing tide, meaning the tide coming from the intercoastal out into the ocean with a rough wave from an east wind and it gets very rough and could be problematic for responders making that emergency safe. It's important to note that we are out here during fairly good conditions in the middle of the day. We have a slight east wind. We have an outgoing tide coming from the intercoastal, again, out into the ocean. So if an emergency were to happen right now, a vessel were to flip over or somebody fall off their watercraft and they're caught in the current or just some kind of boating emergency where it hit the uh, either one of the north or south jetties, the closest response is gonna be ocean rescue. This drone is phenomenal to communicate and be those eyes in the sky to let Ocean Rescue know exactly what is going on. As you can see, the current in this inlet is going out by the slightly dirtier water. Now, every six hours, the tide changes here and now the current can be coming from the ocean and going in. Right now, it's going out. So if someone were to have a emergency right here and we had people in the water, they would essentially be drifting out towards the ocean, which if I spin out here, this is all open ocean out here. Now again, spin the drone again this way. We have our inlet over here. We have lifeguards on duty during the day. After they leave, it can be several minutes before the next emergency crew can get to this scene. So it can also be nighttime. And I would want to have as much information as possible to make a rescue and communicate that information to oncoming crews. If I switch to my thermal color palette right now, that's what I have in my white hot. Here's a look at the black hot and some iron red. So if we had somebody caught in this ripping current going from the intercoastal out to our ocean or somebody trapped over here by the inlet, we're going to be able to tell pretty good with this thermal color palette. Right now is a perfect situation or scenario where if something bad happens, like a boat crashes into the point of that jetty, something bad is going to happen and it's a recipe for disaster. The lifeguards have just went off duty and our nearest help is probably fire rescue or the Coast Guard, which takes time. So if we can get this M30T drone in the air and provide that information and aid on the number of people, the exact emergency, this is where it comes in very handy for oncoming crews. If this were nighttime or the conditions were much rougher, the waves were rougher, mixed with the outgoing tide, it can be a very difficult situation for an emergency. There are a lot of boats that uh, get into trouble leaving this inlet on a daily basis. There are wave runner issues. There are people on this pier that are fishing. Um, we've had all kinds of accidents around this inlet. So 
If this were to happen after hours and the lifeguards were not able to make that quick response, flipping on this infrared camera and switching to our color palettes is going to provide us with that valuable information to oncoming crews. So if a 911 call came out during the daylight hours, whoever's making the call is going to give as much information as possible. If there's multiple people that fell off a boat and they're not good swimmers, they may be drifting out into the ocean with a strong current, which does happen. Ocean Rescue is responding in a small boat from inside the inlet. We had a drone handy no matter where I took off, a couple miles north or south down the beach, I can communicate via radio to Ocean Rescue that's coming out the inlet exactly the emergency and what's going on and the people in distress. Here's a good straight down view looking over the inlet where we would be able to definitely be an asset in the air if an accident happened and let responders coming to the emergency know what's going on. I can switch to my infrared view and you can see the people on the left hand side of the jetty which is the north jetty here and there's a couple people on the south end side of the jetty. There's what our black hot looks like. You can still see the people and there's our white hot. Let's go to uh, rainbow one. Yeah we have all kinds of options to switch up and move around here but the current is definitely strong moving through here and then out into our open ocean so someone that's not a good swimmer they're gonna get swept out pretty fast out here somewhere and then we're gonna have to go search here's a good look at a boat getting ready to come in the inlet here We'll pan a little bit over the left and there he goes. There's my infrared. And you can see how narrow the inlet is. So mix that on a busy day with bigger boats and rough conditions and that's where the accidents happen. I want to keep in mind that right now it's daytime and although Ocean Rescue has just gone off duty, it's a complete different ball game at night. If we had a drone handy like the M30T drone with the thermal capabilities, all that's going to do is help the oncoming crews that are coming from the intercoastal by boat or maybe even swimmers aid in that emergency. A lot of times, especially in the winter time with the outgoing tide and much rougher ocean conditions and after hours, meaning after the lifeguards go off duty, that accident or emergency happens right about here where my crosshairs are. And then you have the winds and the current and the waves that can be battering a vessel or just uh, making things very difficult to make a rescue or a save. So if I had the drone in the air, again, I can launch from just about anywhere down the coastline. I can switch my thermal on. I can see exactly what's going on. Very good view. Here's my black hot. Here's my tint, my iron red. And I can give that information on the whereabouts and the exact nature of the emergency. It's important to note that if an emergency happens after hours, meaning after the lifeguards have gone off duty, our next response may be several minutes or longer away. Firefighters, police officers, Marine Patrol, or even the Coast Guard will be coming to make that save. We could have someone drifting out the inlet that is not a good swimmer. We could have somebody clinging to the rocks. We can have all kinds of different situations. So I think this drone is a huge asset to give that information and transmit it via radio from on the ground to the responding units. Once again, I'm Mike with Drone Nerds featuring the DJI Mavic 30 thermal drone for emergencies in and around an inlet. I think this drone is a phenomenal tool to aid the first responders, the Marine Patrol, Fire Rescue, PD, or even the Coast Guard for an emergency during the day or night. 
This drone provides that valuable information to the oncoming crews by giving detailed information and being the eye in the sky. For any further questions or comments, leave them below or contact us at experts at dronenerds.com. Once again, I'm Mike. Happy flying. Have a nice day.